Dr. Melvin observed this pair of jackals off and on for about seven years, and they became an important part of her long-term study. In 1981, Raha and Refu's new litter of pups were thriving. The 14-week-old pups are still dependent on their parents to hunt and bring back food for them. This year, the family has a special member, a helper, a son of Raha and Reifu from last year's litter. Although a full-grown adult, the helper accepts the dominance of his parents. He has stayed on with the family for another year and helps to guard and feed his younger brothers and sisters. This helper has returned with food in his stomach to be shared with his parents. Helpers provide up to a third of the food brought back to the family. During the period while the mother is nursing, they also assist their father in providing food for her. Dr. Melman named this helper Rafiki. Rafiki is a male, but helpers may also be female. By staying on for another year with the family, helpers gain additional skills in hunting and parenting. Rafu, Rafiki's father, joins him at the watering hole. Dr. Melman has observed that another advantage in staying on as a helper is that the helper may inherit part of the parent's territory. Helpers also play an important role in the survival of the young pup by protecting them when the parents are away hunting. While Rafiki stays at the den, his parents, Raha and Reifu, go foraging for food. A pair usually stays within the same territory throughout their lifetime, with only some changes in the boundaries. They advertise their presence and establish boundaries by scent marking. From these observations, I found that golden jackal territories are relatively small, about one square mile. This is where they normally forage for food and maintain them. Raha and Rafa's territory is bordered on all sides by those of neighboring pairs. This grassy plain is an endless mosaic of jackal territory. Left on their own, the pups try to establish contact with their parents by howling. Jackals recognize the calls of other members of their family, and they keep in touch with one another by howling. Raha, the mother, hears her pups from a distance and responds. Wolfu joins in. Jackals generally howl only when they are within their own territory, and it's thought this may be a way of announcing their presence to neighboring jackals. Establishing themselves in the vacated territories. 